people's skin is it goes back to what the old man had uh, prophesied unto Yahweh Shai's father and his mother. And I have it here in Luke 2, 34 and 35. It says, And Simeon blessed them, that's the old man. Now this is when Yahweh Shai was, this is even before his ministry, when he was a little baby. He was brought to be, a, a, according to the custom, the law, he was brought to be a dedicated to the heavenly father. All right? Uh, and Simeon blessed them and said unto Mary his mother, Behold, this child, meaning Yahweh Shai, is set for the fall and rising again of many in Israel, and for a sign which shall be spoken against. Yea, a sword shall pierce through thine own soul also. And there's, uh, there's uh, uh, incidents of where Yahweh Shai even cursed out his own mother. I'll give you one incident, the, the wedding at, 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 at Cana. When Mary wanted him to turn the water into wine, and Yahweh Shai pretty much cursed out his mother. He said, look, my time has not come yet. All right? So this goes back to what the old man said. He said, yea, a sword shall pierce thine own soul also, that the thoughts of many hearts may be revealed. And the hearts of the, the wicked Pharisees was being revealed by Yahweh Shai when he was constantly cursing them out. And we're following in the same spirit of Yahweh Shai when we go out there on 34th and 7th. Uh, 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 brother, and we never stopped. We right? never stopped. We never stopped. Like just like now, it can you guys say that? Yeah, we never stopped, man. Yeah, just like it was said of Yahweh Shai that the thoughts of many hearts may be revealed. That's how the thoughts of many hearts are being revealed when you dig into them with the word, man. You guys are acting like we're like we're some fucking Baptist group or something. And that's why you look all weak, man. You look all weak. We're supposed to be lively stones. You guys look weak, well, man. Even a lot of people are coming up on the comment board saying, where did these guys come from? Yeah. yeah these, these guys are not my elders. Right. You, don't, you look like you don't have no passion. We're looking at you. You don't have no passion. No. All right? You look dead, man. Now, the scriptures say we're supposed to be lively stones. And all you guys going out there, all you guys on that panel going out there every week, or period, are all you guys on that panel going out there every week, week after week? Go ahead. I'm sorry, brother. And plus, we're battling all kind of ailments to be out there week in, week out to bring out the truth, all right? And not only that, to put out all these videos... Of all the camp, camps out there, GMS saying it, the truth, GMS has the most videos out there with all different kind of subjects. Right. All right? We tackle all different kind of subjects through the spirit of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai. And we're doing it through all kind of ailments, man. Right. All right? Yes, L- Go ahead, brother. You just yeah. say it on the mic. Yeah, yeah and, it, and it ain't cheap, too. To, okay? Gas costs money. All right? And we ain't set, we ain't chartered, we don't. Get no money from the government or nothing like that. And we we come out of our own pockets and pay for you know the elders get the equipment, put gas in the car, make the signs, all right. So also too, I had the elder mention something about denouncing and uh, denouncing the Pharisees. So I just looked up the word denouncing, which basically states it says to publicly state publicly state that someone or something is bad or wrong. So that's what Yahweh Shai did. That's what it said in the subtopic. It says to criticize someone or something harshly in public. It says to pronounce especially publicly to be blameworthy or evil. To announce threateningly. That's the, that's the word denounce. And that's what the scriptures say Yahweh Shai was doing. So that, that's not foolishness. That's why we ain't going to get with y'all. And like I said, for y'all to make the statement, you're going to see later in the, in the video that we're willing to get together with uh, you Old Testament guys like Nazi. We're not getting with Nazi, man. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, and Nazi, you ain't invited to come up to the camp, all right? You don't know the scriptures. You're not on no level, okay? For you to uh, teach that you only deal with the, uh, your call, call us a ma- Messianic Jews, which the Jews that believe in Messiah, all right? You ain't on no level, man. Then you said you made the statement that uh, Dr. York was a monster. W- what do you mean by that, man? <laughs> Dr. York was a clown. Yeah, yeah. He was a clown. Yeah. He read a lot of books and gave you a lot of information and a lot of bullshit. And, and Jake believed in that shit, man. You know, hey, you know how you pick up a, a, a Jake woman? The guy that throws and shoots the most game, meaning yeah. talk the most bullshit. Yeah. 
get, gets the woman. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right? The guy that tell the truth, he don't get shit, man. Yeah. It's the guy that talks the most bullshit. Fight. Just teach them you're not African American, you Israelites. If the whites want to stand there, you show them their history. I'm just getting you supposed to take this Bible and you're supposed to explain Mike, it to them. For the you people. to say that, Mike. For you to say that, Mike, I got a question for you, Mike. Are you going out there on the highways and the byways? When was the last time you went out there on the highways and the byways? Shame on you for telling somebody what how to speak, and you're not even out there speaking, man. Yeah. Are you out there? Fucking bullshit, man. Yeah. Let's go back. Back and forth and getting personal about this man's family and all that. Because one thing Barack uh, left out, that was a spiritual thing and the productive part of ISUPK left. Only thing left was gainsayers and mm -hmm. men pleasers. Mm -hmm. Okay? Because the truth be told, they knew their palm was going to get greased real soon. I'm not, I'm not going to get into all that. Mm -hmm. But the bottom line is, right. the ones that were productive, they left with my shop right. to get this work done. I worked with Mo all up until the end. He was still doing the show because I was over the video department. And something else, all you guys that you have these camps and you seem to be hiding in the background lurking, you got these idiots up front. When this thing gets large... Everybody's going to say, oh, those are the guys. I remember them way back. And all y'all that was half-stepping and running scams and had your hands in people's pockets and acting stupid, they're going to show up out of nowhere. The most has a way of doing that. You're thinking you're home free. And like I said, I'm not naming names. I could because I was there. i seen a lot of stuff. Mm -hmm. I'm witness. Okay? Now, a lot of you going to sit there and say, wait a second. Weren't you involved with this? Didn't you pull this stuff? Weren't you... Um, uh, um, running a scam with this person Now what you going to do You got a school You got followers And you got people making accusation And it's going to stick The most I going to make it stick Everybody at the house of David Everyone that was there The ones that are here right now No one can make any claims against any of us The only claim they can say against me When I went in the video department When I was editing I threw people out the room and yelled at people and do a chair once or twice. Okay, that's just, I don't know, temperament. But the fact is, there was no malice involved. I just was busy. I don't want people coming in and out bothering me. But the rest of y'all, y'all got all kind of dirt on your hands. And to be making noise, you a fool because it's going to come back to bite you. I ain't seen it fail not one time. You had one guy, I'm not mentioning his name, Darth Vader with, fit or with fringes on. Where is he at now? Out of his mind. <laughs> and the rest of y'all, you pointing the finger. Oh, look at this. Look at the, what this brother did. That's stupid. And another thing. If you better than somebody in the scriptures, so what? Like this man is better than me in the scriptures, but let's say we, we're from different schools. If I'm teaching that somebody walking with their pants are hanging, I said, my man, pull your pants up. Let me tell you about your history. And I break the scriptures down. Why are you going to jump on me? I know more scriptures than that, brother. Your job is to teach people, not make a fool out of yourself. Mm -hmm. You got a guy out there screaming, the one you call the, um, the, the fake 50 cents, mm -hmm. screaming, cursing, MF this. How you right. using the word MF and got a Bible in your hand? Right. And you over the camp. And you encouraging this nonsense. Most times not for that cursing. Right. And you had a white woman come up and ask. I don't know who he's talking about, but there's no scripture on that. You, cur you can't curse and have the Bible in your hand. There's no scripture on that, okay? Hey, Peter cursed, all right? There was a guy, uh, there was a guy um, when David was being revealed, David was kingdom, but the, the, his, brother, his uh, son was coming against him, and there was uh, the Benjamite, I forget his name, Shema. huh? Shema. Shema, he, cur he cursed uh, uh, King David out, and one of King David's men said, um, I don't know if it was Benaniah, I haven't read the story in a while, but I can easily go into it. And he said, uh, let me go and, and take this man's head off, right? And what did David say? No, because the Most High is basically... Matter of fact, let's go to that. Let's go to that. The key word, 
You know what I got in my concordance? Because I haven't brought it out in a while. What's his name? Shemai. Shemai. If you look up, if you go to the concordance and look up uh, swear, curse, swear. Anyway, we're gonna we're gonna we're gonna look for it and we're gonna find it and we're gonna bring it up. 